Well, hello everyone. Today I wanted to give you a little kitchen and bathroom cleaning motivation. It is a fall time and time to get things um, refreshed and smelling good for the winter. And so I wanted to just share with you um, probably like an hour and a half nap time cleaning that I did in my kitchen and bathroom. So hopefully this motivates you as I have not been super motivated to clean lately. And so I needed to do this as much as maybe you do. So I'm just gonna share with you what I did. Of course, I have to start with my daughter's high chair. This is pretty much a daily thing, not quite this intense, but crumbs happen, fingerprints, food gets smeared all over the chair. So just wiping everything down really well, making sure it's nice and clean because yeah, it just gets so grimy and gross. So I'm just gonna share with you what I'm doing and play some music for you and hopefully you can clean an area of your house today. So let's get cleaning. Okay, I know it's the end of October, but I'm listening to Christmas music already, and that's the Ford cleaner I'm using, and then I just used some microfiber cloths I got from Walmart for all over my house, just different cloths for different areas, and I love using them. It was like a car pack cleaning kit of 12 that I got for like $11, so not too bad. But yeah, I know, I don't know why I'm listening to Christmas music already, but being an old music teacher, I've usually started listening to Christmas music, and so it was time for me, and I have Christmas socks on. It's just, it's just that type of weather too, when it's 30 degrees out. <laughs>
put right in the bathroom another cloth and then a magic eraser and this grove cleaner that's for a tile and tub that i am using everywhere so um you will use me or see me use this green cloth um for different areas honestly i used two i want to let you know that and then a yellow one for the tub so it wasn't like the same cloth that i wiped the mirror down and i wiped the toilet down just just saying but um, i do like this grove cleaner it works nicely especially in our really old bathroom that needs some remodeling so ignore some of the things in the bathroom as it really is kind of falling apart and that's going to be one of our hopefully spring summer projects is renovating the bathroom but i'm supposed to motivate you with cleaning not talk about renovating <laughs> So I'm trying to show you the scum on the bottom of our tub and then how the magic eraser works after. You can kind of see the spots on the bottom, but magic eraser I definitely love and I use it from Dollar Tree actually. So it's not the real magic eraser brand, but you get two for a dollar. And so if you go through one and one cleaning, what's 50 cents really? So I love using this in my tub, sometimes even to get the gritty off the top of my sink area. I use it in my kitchen as well. So definitely have a magic eraser in your cleaning kit. Finishing touches after a clean bathroom, fresh bath mats, and that's it. So hope you felt motivated. Talk with you in the next one.